So what are terminal services? Well, if you use the Windows Server operating system and you allow multiple remote users to share that operating system and applications, you're using terminal services. Terminal services is now known as Remote Desktop Services, or RDS, starting with Windows Server 2008 R2. Terminal services is fully supported by Microsoft. All you have to do is go in and enable the Remote Desktop Services role and then the end users can now access the server uh, running their own terminal services session or remote desktop session via the remote desktop connection client. What you would do is you would install applications once on that server and then all the users can run their own instance or their own session of that application. You can provide an end user their own desktop running on the server or you can provide individual applications. Users can access the server or their applications via RDP with a remote desktop connection client or using a thin client device or they could even run their applications through a web browser. Remote desktop services is a very powerful way to offer end users remote desktop sessions or applications and a single server if it has enough hardware and enough uh, resources can support as many as 60 or more end users. For over 15 years, Citrix has offered add-ons for remote desktop services. And in those early days, they even had their own modified version of Windows called WinFrame. In fact, it was a modified version of Windows NT. They were given the source code via an agreement with Microsoft. And I was actually one of the early users of WinFrame in production. And as far as I know, it was one of the first session or desktop virtualization solutions available for Windows. From there, their product was renamed MetaFrame, then Presentation Server, and now it's called ZenApp. Citrix offers the ICA protocol and the HDX protocol, which has replaced ICA. They have management consoles, printer management, and application management tools, all as part of ZenApp. Today, ZenApp is a powerful add-on for remote desktop services, and it's a great option for enterprise desktop delivery, although it's not the same as using desktop virtualization. So now let's talk about how VDI compares to Terminal Server or RDS. With VDI, every user gets their own individual virtual machine. So they have a full virtual machine. It's like having their own computer, but a virtual computer. They get a more custom user experience. Maybe they can change their own desktop, and maybe they uh, could even install applications if you give them permission. They have less issues with application compatibility because they have their own set of applications. Uh, they're not trying to share applications with other users. But it is more complex to design a uh, VDI infrastructure, or at least properly design a VDI infrastructure. And it could also be more costly to implement a VDI infrastructure as compared to a remote desktop services or a terminal server infrastructure. On the other hand, with Terminal Server or RDS, you have one operating system and a set of applications is shared by multiple users. You could have some application compatibility issues. Uh, not all applications are certified or supported when they're running in a multi-user mode under remote desktop services. Users cannot customize their desktops and in some cases their applications. And not all applications, as I said, are supported by vendors. In general, it's less expensive to implement RDS and less costly to implement, but you also get fewer features. So it's kind of one of those things where you get what you pay for. Here's a graphic that depicts the difference between Terminal Server, RDS, uh, and a desktop virtualization solution. So on the left-hand side, uh, you've got a physical server with Windows Server 2008 R2 installed and the RDS role enabled. So on that server, I've got a shared operating system. That's the Windows Server 2008. And then I install applications in a shared multi-user mode. So end users can connect. They can all run the same applications, but they're all running on the same operating system. If you look at the process list on that server, you could have 40 copies of Word.exe all running uh, by uh, various end users or 40 end users uh, via thin clients using the RDP protocol. On the right hand side, let's say we're using a desktop virtualization solution. You've got the hypervisor, it could be vSphere or Hyper-V or uh, Citrix Zen server. And then on top of that hypervisor, you've got individual virtual machines and each virtual machine has its own operating system and its own applications. 
and then out there somewhere is a connection broker that's directing those end users to their particular uh, virtual machine that has their applications and their customizations. So again, just a simple graphic that uh, depicts the difference here between uh, Windows Server with remote desktop services or even using Citrix Zen app on top of it versus a hypervisor uh, solution that's using VDI with a connection broker to implement desktop virtualization.